All right, folks, welcome back to my project where I am turning this old utility boat into our ultimate cruising tender. Now, this is the state of things right now. The boat has been completely sealed up externally with G-Flex 650 epoxy, and then it has a coat of primer on the outside to protect the epoxy until we can get it painted. Uh, the inside is going to need a bit more work and to complete a few projects until we can get to painting. And regarding those projects, this is the one that I need to go ahead and tackle next because once I get this installed on the bow up here, we're going to be working on this uh, bow locker area and a place to hold the fuel tank and such as that. So I need to go ahead and get this installed and out of the way. But there are a few challenges involved with getting this uh, bow eye to work with this utility boat. Great, great. Now we have this bow section here that is essentially, uh, you know, on the same plane as the ground, parallel with the ground, flat in other words. So it'll hold the epoxy down there good. Uh, the boat is very secure. And I think as long as, you know, a, a butterfly doesn't come land on it, then I think it's probably going to stay right there. What do you think, Molly? Yeah. All right, so it's time I'm going to put this uh, little piece of fiberglass over top of that epoxy that we just poured. And this is gonna really tie everything nicely into the hull. Just wanna kind of lay it in there a little bit like that. Give myself a little tracing with the marker. Just so I have a rough idea of where I'm going to be putting this epoxy on there, the, the new wet epoxy. Now this is uh, this cloth is going to be tough to use with this G-Flex epoxy because it's so stinking thick. But we're going to give it a shot. You can see I've I've already got some bends in this cloth just to help it kind of lay in there nicely. Looking good. I feel good about that. I'm going to let that set up and uh, we will pick this up tomorrow. Okay, here's the idea, folks. 
this is the situation. These are the two holes that the eye bolt is actually going to go through. I drilled another two holes beneath that point. What I'm going to do is use these two lower holes to basically pack this area full with this JB Weld uh, water weld epoxy. That's going to basically completely close this off and make a dam here, you know, be below these holes. Uh, so I'm going to fill this in so there's so the epoxy can't go any further than this I'm going to close off these two holes and then I am going to fill it with epoxy from the top So then the epoxy is going to fill up fill up fill up and then when the epoxy oozes out of this hole Then it's completely full at which point I'm going to cap this off let the epoxy dry and then I'll have this 8 inch section right here that is completely solid and is going to be a much better base to help support this uh, this uh, bow eye. That is the plan. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we're just about to do our, our epoxy pour. I've just mixed up a really small batch here, and I did thicken it just ever so slightly uh, with that with some adhesive filler, just to add a bit more strength. It's probably unnecessary since this epoxy is going to be in this really constrained channel here, but why not? All right, so let's, let's start pouring, and again, we're just looking for the epoxy to start coming out this upper hole. If you've ever done an oil change in an outboard motor in the, uh, you know, the lower drive unit, it's essentially the same thing we're trying to do here. Just fill it up uh, from the bottom, and then when it reaches that, uh, that hole, we'll know that it's completely full. Okay, I've got all of the epoxy pour down inside this channel now. I've given it a few minutes to just kind of sit and settle. What I'm going to do next is just take this piece of tape off. All right, well there's the epoxy at the hole. Seems like that's a good sign. Yeah, look at that.
Okay, there's the upper platform templated with cardboard strips. Now I've just got to do this lower vertical section. Okay folks, so there is the templated bow locker area. You see the flat piece on top and the vertical piece. Now uh, all these pieces are, it's just cardboard glued together with hot glue. So let's see if I can take these off now without tearing them all to pieces. Maybe it's pretty tough, but in my mind I'm thinking it's going to be about as fragile as a Fabergé egg. So let's see how this goes. Maybe the, maybe the top part first. Oh yeah, success! Yeah! vertical panel. Look at that. Not bad at all. Let's let's look from back here. Okay. Yeah, that gives you an idea of the general shape. Very nice. Yeah. Just got to work on this front end here and then that'll make it all fit together nicely. Cool. Good morning. So considering this um, bow locker here, I've decided to make a design change. And what it is, it's fairly simple. Um, we're adding a small um, anchor locker. It, but the reason I hesitate to use that word is it's not actually going to have a lid on it. It's just going to be sort of a, a cutout area where we can hold the anchor, our anchor chain, and uh, the anchor rope as well. And uh, that'll help keep all of that stuff out of basically the foot area for where Molly and Tamby would typically sit. So it's going to get the anchor out of the way. That way they're not possibly going to, you know, step on it or twist your ankle or something like that. It just, uh, I hope it's going to sort of help eliminate some clutter inside the dinghy. Yeah. So just a, a quick change. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is cutting off just the tip of that, uh, that panel there in order to accommodate this, which is basically a small bulkhead that's going to be mounted forward on the, on the pointy end of that panel. So yeah, let me do that stuff. You'll see.
Okie dokie. So here is this bow segment that I've been working on. I've got some things happening on the inside here. This is going to be a backing plate for a uh, cleat. It's going to be up forward in the boat. Uh, this is basically a small bulkhead where the, the chain area is basically going to be on the forward side of this. I have uh, reinforced the area right here where there's going to be a large cutout for a hatch. And then there's also some reinforcements there. Boy, that's hard to see, but yeah, right here in this corner and right over there in that corner are basically uh, backing plates. And those are going to be, these two here are going to be for pad eyes, these pad eyes. Four of them that are going to be used to lift the boat out of the water. Now, and what I'm about to do now is cut out this big hole where the deck hatch is going to go. Hey there everybody this has been inside at my little editing station as you can see in fact that is the video right back there you just watched that i am currently putting the finishing touches on so i want to take a minute and just thank a few people who have sent us things from our amazon wish list such as this pack of spark plugs for our diesel engine this came from chase mixon he says i hope you enjoy your next season thank you very much chase uh, we really appreciate it and just to clarify, these spark plugs are actually for our outboard motor, uh, not our diesel engine. Sorry about that. I can't help it, folks. It just, it, it just comes out. I, I can't help it. Uh, we also have a pack of water filters that are for our water maker. Look at that. I think that's... Yeah, six filters there. These are the pre-filters that our water maker uses. These filters, they last anywhere from a couple days to a couple months, depending on the water that we're actually drawing from. Out in the Bahamas, I mean, we'll get, you know, a month or more out of these filters. Uh, but if you use these things like inside the ICW, for instance, it'll plug these filters up in a matter of hours. So, yeah, having this set of filters is very handy. And also, this little filter here, that is the little particulate filter that goes inside our Yamaha 15 outboard motor. And those are very handy to have as well, because uh, as you may know, uh, the, the, uh, the fuel quality can often be kind of dodgy in the Bahamas or even in the Caribbean, you know. Uh, so those filters are, are very handy to have for sure. So thank you very much for that. Uh, those filters are from the Millers. And the Millers say, have a great holiday season. We never miss your videos. I hope these help to quench your thirst and keep you moving in the dinghy. That they shall. Thank you very much, the Millers. We very much appreciate it. Now, what else was I going to say here at the end of this video? Oh, I remember. I want to give special thanks to Corey and Becky. Those guys have a YouTube channel called Salty Escape. And if you watched our videos this last season, you probably remember them. They're the family that uh, they have a daughter, uh, Ella, and a son, Carter. And they're on a, a catamaran. Those guys actually... I'm going to say they lent us their Yamaha 15 horsepower two-stroke outboard motor. So essentially we're taking two motors with us on this next trip. The one we own and the one that I'm going to say they gave it to us on loan. What that's going to do for us is it basically gives us a complete set of spares because the motor we have, I'm just not super 
trusting of it, I guess. I did a major, major rebuild on that motor, and because I had it completely taken apart, I don't know, I've kind of just, um, my, my faith in that motor is not all that high. M maybe that'll change as we use the motor, but anyways, it feels really good that uh, Corey and Becky hooked us up and are going to let us use their motor as well this season. So thank you very much, you guys, uh, Corey and Becky. We really appreciate it. So uh, I guess just final thanks to uh, all of our supporters, our viewers, anybody who likes, thumbs ups our videos, leaves comments, and of course our patrons who kind of make up uh, our foundation of support. So collectively, all of you guys that help us out, we could not do this without you. And uh, we really, really appreciate the help. So we thank you for uh, watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one.